Well, a senseless tragedy, a caffeine overdose is to blame for the death of a 16-year-old boy in South Carolina. Ben Jordan joins us with reaction from UWM students who depend on coffee and energy drinks to get through final weeks. George and Carol, students often turn to caffeinated drinks for a boost to stay awake and study. However, local nutrition experts say this should be a reminder that caffeine can be more of a foe than a friend. At UWM, finals week and caffeine go hand in hand for many students. Definitely uh, drink a lot of Monster during the finals week. Freshman Mitch Showalter is a self-proclaimed caffeine addict. Mornings make a uh, pot of coffee. His stressful studies come with a daily routine. Go to the library, study for however long, a couple hours, get coffee there, and then be up until 3 a.m. drinking more coffee, Monster. Now the dangers of caffeine under scrutiny after a seemingly healthy teenager in South Carolina dropped dead after a heart attack. The coroner's examination showed he consumed a large diet Mountain Dew, cafe latte, and an energy drink in his final two hours. Seems like it certainly would put someone at risk. The Food and Drug Administration says up to 400 milligrams of caffeine a day is safe for healthy adults, but those underage are only supposed to consume a fourth of that. Just one eight ounce cup of coffee would put them over the top. It may help a little bit in that way, but it also may, go, may take a lot longer time to get to sleep and to get your rest. UWM nutrition professor Susan Kundrat says the key is moderation, but for real energy. You have to get enough rest and you have to be eating on a schedule, make sure you're not missing meals. All those things are really important. Kundran says caffeine doesn't really give you energy. It gives you the perception that you have more energy because of an increased heart rate, something that can trigger undetected heart problems. Live in the studio, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.